What's up Social Mafia? Welcome back to my channel and in this video you're going to learn the most essential statistics on Instagram. Let's begin! Well, in order to adjust your Instagram strategy, you need to check from time to time your Instagram statistics and see basically in numbers how your Instagram is performing and where you can adjust your strategy. But before we dive into the explanation of different statistics on Instagram, I want to ask you a question and you need to think and give me the right answer for this. Write it in the comments what is going to be your answer. And my question to you is what is your overall goal on Instagram? You can have three different answers to these questions. First is to generate brand awareness. If you're just starting out, if your goal is to drive traffic from your Instagram to external platforms, then probably your primarily and essential goal on Instagram will be to build a brand awareness. This is also applied for relatively new brands or you want just to give an exposure to your account your products or services. And the second answer to this question can be lead generation. If you are, for example, an agency, then you're going to track different KPIs rather than uh, when your essential goal will be to build a brand awareness. So, for example, you're an agency and you provide different types of services, then you are going to measure, for example, how many times people contact you within Instagram, how many requests you got in direct messages, and so on. The third answer to this question can be building a community. So, if you're over overall goal to build a community around your brand or around your persona, that's going to be your essential goal. Depends on what is going to be your answer, we are going to measure different KPIs. You don't have to track all KPIs because depending on your goal, your KPIs, our key performance indicators are going to vary. And let's begin with the brand awareness. So if your essential goal is to build a brand awareness on Instagram to expose your business to a bigger audience, then the first thing you are going to measure is reach. You can see this number on your top of the screen on Instagram, you can see it right here. And the second important KPI that you will need to consider is, of course, impressions. You can check impressions both on your Instagram post as well as in Instagram stories. So let me tell you where you can find this information. So once you're on your Instagram account, you will have to click on the top of your screen where your overall profile visits numbers is shown. Or you can go to the pie button and click insights. So once you're on this page you will see the feed post and you are going to click on see all. All right so that's gonna be showing you the best performing post. On the top post that you're gonna see is got the most engagement but you can adjust actually the settings and choose different time frame and so on. And in order to do that you will have to click on the top of the screen and here you can filter your statistics by different date and information. For example in the case if you're essential goal is brand awareness, we are going to set all content and then impressions and for example we want to see the impressions within 30 days and we are going to click apply. So here you will see all your posts sorted by the amount of impressions. All right so you can click back and sort it according to the videos, carousel post, shopping post, if you tag your products on images or you can choose all type of creative videos or photos. The second thing that you will have to consider as I said reach. We we're gonna choose in this case all and we're gonna choose reach and click on for example seven days click on apply so here you are going to see the highest reach on the images that you posted the last week and the last KPI that you will need to measure if your essential goal is brand awareness is of course the amount of followers this is not the most essential number but however if your goal is to build brand awareness on Instagram platform for your brand then you need to measure the amount of followers and how is it growing within certain time frame. In order to check that you will have to go to your Instagram statistics. Let me show you on my screen how you can find this information. So we are again on our inside page and we are going to click on audience. Here you can see how many followers we got or how many followers unsubscribed from your page within one week. So Instagram in this case it shows you the amount of followers just within one week frame. So you can from week to week 
big check whether your followers amount is growing or not. If your essential goal is to generate leads, then you need to check and keep on attention on different metrics or key performance indicators. And the first one is of course interactions like emails, calls, getting directions and so on. This information you can also find in your insights. Let me show you how you can do that. All right, so we are again on our insight page and here we are going to click on all and we are going to check, for example, calls and click on last year. All right, and then click apply. So I have zero results because that's not my primary goal. That's why I don't receive any calls within and I don't even have a number. That's why I get these numbers zero. You can sort this information and statistics by emails, by getting directions, calls and so on. Whether is your primary goal on Instagram and how you're triggering your customers to connect with your business. The second essential thing that you need to consider, however, you cannot really measure this is how many requests you get via the DM messages. So for example, you are selling any kind of services and you're triggering your followers to ask you questions or get a request, a quote via DM messages. So this thing you have to measure as well if your primary goal is lead generation. The other thing that is really important to consider, if your primary goal is to generate traffic to your external website, then you need to consider, of course, website clicks. And if you're providing any important information in your post and you want to drive people on a specific landing page on your website or product page, then you can choose services like LinkedIn Bio or Planoly or other external platforms that offer this option. So basically what you do is upload the same image on this platform and then attach a link to this image. So once a person is opening the link in your bio, he or she is going to see the same Instagram feed, but instead all the posts will be clickable and can lead to a different page. If your primary goal on Instagram is to build a community, your number one KPI will be to check on engagement. So the same strategy, you go to your insights and then you sort all your posts by engagement, right? So in engagement, we consider the comments, likes, as well as reposts and savings. So you can find all this information from post to post, or you can find this information in your insights like we did previously, and you can check your engagement statistics per different posts or per several posts. You can also check statistics on Instagram stories. However, as we know, Instagram story doesn't last too long. So that's why you can check from story to story if whether people engage with the stickers if you're applied in your in Instagram stories or they or they comment something back on a specific story and so on. Let me show you how you can check it in Instagram stories. All right, so Instagram offers your statistics on Instagram stories only within 14 days. We're gonna click on the top of the screen as well and here we are going to check, for example, here we are going to check replies within 40 days and click on apply. So here we're going to see how many replies each Instagram story got. Your direct messages and how many direct messages you got can also be your secondary KPI when you primarily goal on Instagram is to build a community. So keep in mind that your strategy and KPIs should be based on the overall goal of your Instagram presence. I hope you enjoyed this video so far. Make sure to smash this like button and subscribe to my channel if you are not yet and hit the notification bell to not miss any of my videos. All right, that was it for today. I hope this video was useful for you and if you have any comments or questions, make sure to comment below and if there's any topic you want me to make a video on, make sure to write your pain points as well in the comment sections because I create content based on your requests.